Welcome back to Lane's ED Enhancement Channel. Now today, we're going to be doing our first solution session. We'll be using some simple calculations from the Seaborne Cargo and Dangerous Goods course. You might be more advanced, but stay with us as we lay this foundation. So we'll be looking at examples from Calculate both the metric and imperial storage factor using kilograms and cubic meters to find metric storage factor, using pounds and cubic feet to find imperial storage factor. Now we know that the storage factor of any cargo is its stored volume per unit weight it occupies. This is inclusive of all dunnage material needed and also the form and design of the packages. And so we will be utilizing this formula, storage factor is equal to volume divided by weight, shorter version is SF is equal to volume divided by weight. Now let us go into some practice calculations. First, we will find the storage factor of a particular cargo using the, the, the formula that we have stated and the following information. The volume is given as 125 cubic meters and the weight 67 tons. Now, here we are going to look at a light cargo. Light because the volume is greater than the weight therefore it is going to occupy more space and should result in a higher storage factor now let us look at this solution it would be 125 cubic meters divided by 67 tons this would result in 1.866 cubic meters per ton Using two decimal places, we will get 1.87 cubic meters per ton. Now let us look at another example. This time, the weight is greater than the volume. In other words, the weight given is 28 cubic feet and the the volume given is 28 cubic feet and the weight 76 tons. Now, this will result in a heavier commodity because it is going to occupy less space and should result in a smaller storage factor. Now, let us look at the solution. 28 cubic feet divided by 76 tons. That gives us zero. 0.368 cubic feet per ton. Using two decimal places again, we result in 0 0.37 cubic feet per ton. Now, when we are given weight in kilograms and the volume in cubic meters, we can use this formula to find the metric storage factor of the cargo. Formula given is storage factor is 1000 kilograms times volume in cubic meters divided by the weight in kilograms. Now let us use the given information to determine the storage factor of this cargo. The volume is 23 cubic meters and the weight is 250 kilograms. Put, plug in these in the formula, we have SF is 1000 kilograms times 23 cubic meters divided by the weight of 250 kilograms. That gives us 23,000 divided by 250 with the unit cubic meters per ton and we get 92 cubic meters per ton for the answer. That is example one. 
Let us look at example two, utilizing the same formula with the following information. Volume of 30 cubic meters and weight of 170 kilograms. Now, when we plug those information in the formula, we have 1,000 kilograms times 30 cubic meters divided by 170 kilograms. That gives us 30,000 divided by 170, resulting in 176.47 cubic meters per ton. Now, similarly, when we are given the weight in pounds and the volume in cubic feet, we can use this formula to find the imperial storage factor of the cargo. Here, storage factor is 2,240 pounds times the volume in cubic feet divided by the cargo weight in pounds. Let us use the following information to determine the imperial storage factor of this cargo. Here, we have volume of 45 cubic feet and a weight of 700 pounds. Now we plug this information in the formula and we get 2,240 pounds times 45 cubic feet divided by 700 pounds. That gives us 100,800 divided by 700. Result, 144 unit cubic feet per ton. Let us look at another example using the same imperial formula. We are given the volume this time of 36 cubic feet and a weight of 900 pounds. Plug in those information in the formula, resulting 2,240 pounds times 36 cubic feet divided by 900 pounds, which gives us 80,640 divided by 900. Answer, 89.6 cubic feet per ton. Now remember, to utilize these two formula whenever you are given the information, just the weight and the cubic uh, or the volume in terms of the cubic measurement, whether it be cubic feet or cubic meters, or whether the weight be in kilograms or in pounds. We will continue utilizing the storage factor formula in part 1b. Now, remember to like, to share, and to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when the next video is uploaded, you will know. Thank you. See you next time.